mean, these days, because the the whole world has changed. Yeah. Now that uh, you know, uh, when I think back in the in, in, in the in the in the, uh, in, the in the last uh, in, in the in the last uh, uh, century, you know, it, it, you know, in the very beginning, it took. 12 hours, you know, back in the World War II days, it took 12 hours for people, for people to find out about things. Yeah. Now, when something happens, you know it in 12 minutes. Oh, yeah. Or even in a minute, you know. It's or like, 12 or yeah. 12 seconds. Yeah. It used to be 12 hours. Now, yeah. stuff gets out. Yeah, I mean, people know it within 12 seconds. Well, the Internet is such a good thing, you know. Even even I say this about us, you know, uh, you know, if it wasn't for the Internet, I don't think I'd be talking to you right now. You know I mean? It's so amazing how, you know, although we're so far away, you know, you're in Orlando, I'm in Thief River Falls, I'm in northern Minnesota, mm -hmm. and, and yet in like under, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes or whatever, you know, we were able to communicate with each other. And, you know, it, it just, uh, it's so it's so cool, you know. And uh, <clears throat> let's see, uh, what else can I mention? Uh now, with uh, I, I want to credit one one film that you were in that I that I also thought was very funny, Spaceballs. Yes, you know that, that little, Mel Brooks picture is is an honor. I actually have that on DVD. I don't have the two disc special edition, but I have the original, the first disc that came out. You know, when when DVD started becoming popular or whatever. But uh, your sweeps, bleeps, and creeps. You know, oh, <laughs> or did God. I mix that up already? <laughs> no, no, you got it right. Everyone asks me that all the time. <laughs> Uh, now uh, what I wouldn't give to be in another Mel Brooks picture. Yeah, but I, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any room for me in Young Frankenstein. What is, What is Mel doing nowadays? Do you ever catch up with him at all? Well, from what I hear, the next Broadway play of his is going to be Young Frankenstein. Okay, that's what I heard. Like a tribute to Peter Boyle or something like that, or sure, why not? I, you know, I, I wish I could have been. You know, I'm I'm just trying to imagine. You know, with, with Borat and everything else that's come out. Yeah. I don't think you get away. With, I don't think you could get away with, with making Blazing Saddles now. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to shoot that? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? If Borat got away with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I see a, a preview for Borat, and at first because I didn't know anything about it, I didn't know it was that guy from the Allergy Show, uh, or the same guy basically. Uh, yeah, there there's a lot of racial and a lot of things that you shouldn't normally say to people. You know, I mean. Wow. Well, you know what? Borat got away with it. Yeah. I don't know how the hell he. I don't know how the hell Sasha Byron Cohen yeah. did it, but he got away with a lot of stuff. That you know, maybe it's because he's because he's not an American. Maybe that's why he got away with it. Who knows? Cause I, the, all I all I know is a lot. Uh, half the audience was 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 was, was gasping and shocked. Yeah. And the other half was going around the floor laughing. Yeah. So. Oh boy! Talk I, about it. I think talk now, about reaction. I think nowadays, when it comes to racial films and whatnot, you know, of course you got you got to watch what you say because Blaze and Saddles, in some ways, the original one was kind of a uh, interracial movie because it, you know, it it would go beyond the beyond the the points, you know. No and, kidding. I mean, it, <laughs> and 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 the best part, the best part about it, movies like that is, uh, you know, Richard Pryor helped write that film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so can you imagine Richard Pryor and Mel Brooks? Yeah, today. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, and and that's the thing, you know. It's just hard to. You never know. You never know what to expect. But uh, you know, now uh, let's see. What was I going to say? Over here in Minnesota, we don't really. We have we have a movie theater called the Galaxy Twin, and that's where I got to see the uh, preview of the Borat movie. And uh, that was yeah. That uh, that's very very weird. That's, you got away with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe it's because it's English. Yeah, Maybe because he's an Englishman. I mean, did that's why he can away with it. Did you ever see the Ali G show at all? Or all right, I did see Ali G. I've seen it before. It's, <laughs> uh, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's the bomb diggity. <laughs> well, see, I'm, I, I've seen little bits and pieces, and I know they got the the first season out. I think they even got the second season out. I believe too. But boy, uh, a lot of people got snowed big time. They should have seen it coming. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Even 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 those congressmen and senators, they didn't get it either. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't know they were being yeah. snowed. Uh, oh. now, now I was going to ask you a question. Now you know you, you see a lot of these people nowadays that are celebrities or whatever that that have their own talk show or have their own show. Do you think in the future you'll ever have your own like little broadcast, your little half an hour or hour? Uh, how would you? Think? Yeah, I think so. Um, because I'm I'm playing with different aspects of of, of uh, the industry now that yeah. you know, I'm starting to get into production now. Yeah. Uh, we have Lenny the Wonder Dog playing right now, and I think it's on um, the movie channels running it this month. Okay. I I, I remember uh, for many months it's been Stars uh, 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 Stars Showtime, but you know, people can go to TVNow.com and they can and they can type in Lenny the Wonder Dog. Okay. Uh, that's one of my productions, and 
It's pretty good. I got to work with Craig Ferguson before he got the Late Show. Oh wow, that, that's cool. It was it was really good, and uh, our dog is a show off, and <laughs> it, it's not, it's it's fun. Andy Richter did the voice, yeah, the yeah, for the dog for us, and I, I I think Lenny turned out pretty well. Yeah, you know, and you know, uh, you know, like I said, it might open some more doors for you. What doors haven't been open already for you? <laughs> but you you've had a, an outstanding career. And, you know, it's it's just a, a thrill to be able to, like I said, to be able to talk to you. Now, do you think, you know, I know I asked you this already, but do you think you could uh, just do a couple voices, just do this a random, either your Jimi Hendrix deal or just something that, you know, something to close uh, the interview kind of, uh, because I'm going to ask you to do a couple more things here before or after you do your, because we're almost, we're almost on time. Oh, well, I wanted to say thank oh, you to Everybody, oh, okay. and thanks for watching and, and everything. And and I, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, how about your Gremlins voice or your uh, Stitch? <laughs> you remember remember that from your the Gremlins days or whatnot? Oh, Stripe or Stripe? Yeah, Stripe. I thought I don't know where I get Stitch from. Uh, probably from Lilo. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch or Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. Oh yeah, which is another another you know another one of those voice movies. Uh, well, let me think. Let me see if we can do this right. Um, <laughs> Because, like I said, I... I, I <laughs> Shut up! Hi, Michael Winslow from Police Academy, One Through Infinity, and we're on the air. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, and space balls with Mel Brooks! I think I was the left one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I tell you what, I, I do appreciate you letting me talk to you, and, and I'm going to ask you to do one last thing. I want you to give me a legal ID. That means uh, who you are, who you're talking to, or what show you listen to, and what station you listen to. So we'll, we'll kind of go in balance here. You, you can say you're Michael Winslow. You listen to the Frankie Slauson Show on Pioneer 90.1. Michael Winslow from Police Academy, One to Infinity, and Spaceballs with Mel Brooks. And, of course, you're listening to the Frankie Slauson Show on Pioneer. Mm, 90.1. Yeah, baby. <laughs>